This is a quick video to explain how we can do a calculation for the, um, for the drain system. Uh, for example, let's say we have a, a camp and we want to design a drain system for this camp, uh, either uh, open canals or uh, the closed pipe or burst pipe. Let's say we have three areas, or let's say we divided our camp in three areas based in the, uh, in the basin or uh, the water shield. Uh, so we can say the first area it is 2,000 meters square, the second area 5,000 meters square, the third area 7,000 meters square. Uh, the first area will discharge or drain the water to the main pipe, link it between manhole one and manhole two. The third, the second area will discharge the the water to the uh, second pipe, link it between manhole two and manhole three. The third area will do the same and discharge the water to the pipe number three, link it between manhole three and manhole four. If you can notice, the area number two, uh, or the pipe number two, will absorb its water and the water coming from area one. And, uh, and uh, area three, or the pipe number three, will absorb the water coming from area two and area one uh, at these sequences. This is manhole number one, the start point. The end point, it is manhole number two. The length of this pipe, the length uh, link it between manhole one and manhole two, it's about 50 meters. Let's say it is okay. The start point, manhole number one. The end point is manhole number two. The pipe name, I just give the, the, the pipe name, uh, you know, in the plan, we need to be very specific about what pipe we are talking about. If it is complicated or there is a lot of pipes, then we it is uh, preferable to give the, the pipes on the plan a specific name uh, to be easily to find and uh, get the information from the plan. So now I give it a plan, uh, it is a pipe linked between manhole 1 and manhole 2. The length of this pipe is about 50 meters. Uh, a cumulative link, uh, as I explained before, each area will discharge or drain the water to the next area. So we need for the total length of the pipe. Uh, now we need, of course, the elevation. You know, in the sewage system, you cannot work without the elevation because the system working by the gravity, so the slope or the elevation is very important. Uh, the, the start elevation, start, the start, uh, the, the, the first manhole, the elevation for the first manhole, I supposed it is uh, 500. Uh, manhole 2 uh, elevation, it is uh, 499. Now, the area, the area here should be by hectare, based on the equation that I'm using. Uh, it is taking the, the, the area by hectare. And you know the hectare, it is 10,000 meters square. So the first area, as I said, it is 2,000. 2,000, want to convert uh, to hectare, I will just divide by 10,000, you will see it is 0 0.2. Back to the sheet. Uh, okay, the first area, it is 0 0.2. The second area, the third area. Now I need to, uh, as I said, each area will discharge its water to the next area. So I called the first area in and the uh, coming water from the other area out. So if you look, uh, this is area, what is coming to it? Nothing, zero. Out of this area, nothing uh, discharge water to this area because it is the first area. While if you look to the second area, you will see it is discharging its water and the water coming from out, coming from area one. So you will see it is uh, area N, it is it's, its area. And the K out, it is 0 0.2 from the previous area. And the same for the uh, the third area. The third area, it is discharged its uh, water and the water coming from area one and area two. Area one and area two, it is 0 0.7, the total uh, area. Here, I just uh, added the total area because the total area now we will help me to uh, calculate the dry flow. Uh, the dry flow, it is beer uh, liter, beer second, beer hectare. What is the equation I can dry how many uh, wastewater each person living in this area will uh, produce? Uh, let's say it starts from the consumption water. Uh, we can take it from the, uh, from the standards uh, based on the location you are working in. Let's say in the Syria, con Syria context, now, before it was between 100,000, uh, 150 
uh, to 250 but in the context now in northwest syria it is it is maximum uh, 50 maximum 50 but uh, i will suppose it is 200 maybe in the future the change the, the situation may be changed so to be in safe side and design on the maximum i will say okay the consumption the, the water consumption rate it is 200 liter per person per day uh, the density of population, let's say 1,000 person per hectare. Each hectare have 1,000. Uh, this is the density. Okay, based on the density and the consumption rate, uh, we can calculate how many wastewater produced per person per day. The equation like this. The equation will be the consumption water multiply uh, the density of population multiply 0 0.8. Why 0 0.8? Because we are assume 80% of the provided water will go through the uh, through the, uh, the sewage uh, network or the sewer pipes uh, and the person will just consume 20% uh, of the provided water then I, 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 I convert to uh, to second uh, because this is 200 it's per day and to convert from day to second, you need to multi to uh, divide on uh, 24 hours, multiply uh, 60 uh, minutes, multiply 60 seconds. Now we have it, and it is a consultant uh, parameter. Now you will see it is 1.83. It is the same for uh, all area because it depends on the density. Uh, now we need to calculate from each area now each area the dry water from the first area it just just multiply the area multiply the uh, the dry flow you will get the the flow from this area as you can see it is another another meaning each pipe uh, what the water or the dry water the the pipe will carry uh, carry on the first pipe will carry the, uh, the, the the wastewater from the people living in area one uh, the second pipe will carry the wastewater coming. Uh, that will dry the wastewater coming from the people living in area one and area two. The third pipe will carry the water coming, the wastewater coming from the people living in area one, two, and three. For that, I took the total. If you notice, I just multiply the total area with the uh, the dry flow uh, figure. Uh, now uh, we need to take in our consideration the, the the people living in that area not uh, discharging their waste water uh, in one time at the same time it is changing during the day so we take in our consideration something we call it irregularity factor uh, this to take in our consideration that the the flow in the pipe it is not uh, something regular uh, all the day it is a changing beer time so we take this equation i think the equation here this is factor factor is irregularity uh, factor this you will see it is one plus 2.5 divided by the q average this is the q average this the q average q average if you uh, just put this uh, formula in this sheet and you can uh, copy it, uh, now you will can get the total dry. It is just multiply Q average, multi the fact factor. You will get the dry water. Uh, there is other something we call it unknown water. Unknown water. Some sometimes your pipe maybe uh, get water from the other other sources. Like there is a linkage in the pipe and. There is a uh, groundwater maybe uh, find their way to your pipe and we assume this about 30 percent of the average uh, of a q, a q average it's about 30 percent of the q average uh, 